Task 2. Your class teacher, Miss Wong, is introducing the new nature park. Listen to what she says and label the map. Write the correct letters A to J in the boxes. You now have 30 seconds to study the task. At the end of the task, you will have one minute to tidy up your answers. Good morning, class. Since you will be visiting the newly opened nature park in Hong Kong for your wildlife project, let me tell you a little about it. As I explain, please label the map with the habitats or animals that can be seen in that area in the spaces provided. Let's begin with the entrance. As you enter, on your left hand side will be the information centre. And to the north of it is the river. Let me repeat. To the north of the information centre is the river where you can go boating. Now, between the entrance and the train stop is the area for tigers. This area on the right of the entrance is a huge place which provides tigers their natural habitat. To the north of the train stop is the wetland. This wetland is home to different kinds of animals and plants. Next, near the center of the map, is the grassland, a huge green area. I repeat, the grassland is near the center of the map and it is also to the north of the restaurant. To the east of the grassland is the area for gorillas. This area for gorillas is also to the north of the wetland. To the north of the gorillas is the rainforest. This is an area of many different kinds of trees and animals, which you will not be able to see anywhere else in Hong Kong. Another landmark for the rainforest is that it is next to the tea stall. To the north of the grassland is the area for black rhinos. Yes, we have black rhinos, which is an endangered species. And having them here is a great conservation effort by the Hong Kong government. So once again, the area for black rhinos is to the north of the grassland and in the east on the compass point. What will surprise you is that we also have an area for polar bears, another endangered species. This is in the south on the compass point on the map. Next, to the south of the polar bear, Is the desert. Actually, this area is an experience center. It gives you a real feel of being in a dry land with minimum vegetation and sand all around you. So, to the south of the polar bear is the desert. Finally, between the desert and the river is the lake. The lake is also to the west of the restaurant. You can go boating there. Hope you have marked all of it down clearly. You are sure to have a great educational trip in the nature park. That is the end of task two. You now have one minute to tidy up your answers.